Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Jesus says, there will be the Son of Man coming in the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. And we'll what are you saying, bro? Yeah, Jesus says, you did not choose me, but I chose you. I chose you after the world, the world, the world, the world uh, therefore the world hates you. Jesus says, I will be with you always to the very end of age. Jesus says, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, not to Muhammad, not to Allah, to me, to Jesus Christ. Jesus says, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. Did you hear that, Siraj? For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Siraj, why don't you pray to the Father? You pray to Allah. I just proved to you with five verses that Jesus Christ proved his divinity. That's why he said that when two or three are gathered, he will be there. That's why he said, whatever you ask him, my name will be done. He didn't say Allah. He didn't say Muhammad. He said in his name. And what do you think about that, Siraj? And don't deviate. Comment on these verses. Comment on okay, these can verses. You, can you start for me? I can me? carry on, but... Uh, stop and start it. Start it. Start, please. Okay. So she talked about, she mentioned many things about Jesus was given authority and you can pray to Jesus in Jesus' name and Jesus will be with you. Three things. The first one, Jesus was never given authority even after he claimed that he was given authority. That's a lie. Waffle. Do you know why? Because Jesus, according to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verse 51, and according to Acts, and chapter 1, verse 3. It says Jesus, after the resurrection, so Paul is lying. He said after 40 days, Jesus was taken to heaven. And Luke says, chapter 24, verse 51, Jesus was taken to the heaven, same day after the resurrection. Contradiction, but I'm not coming to that point. So my point is, if Jesus was given all authority, why would he need someone else to take him to heaven? Doesn't add up. He's, after he said, I was given all authority. By who? By God. So that means there was a time Jesus had no authority, had nothing. Are you telling me there was a time God has not, had nothing? Who took him, Jesus, to the heaven? If he had all authority, why he needed someone else to take him to the heaven? Second. Okay. I think it's been no, I never time. No, no I didn't speak. Time. Two minutes. No, it's not been two minutes. I've been, it's, been, it's, been, it's, been, it's been two minutes and 40. No, he doesn't know how to start. So I'm sorry, but that's not... Start. I didn't so, even speak two minutes. So Is that I'm two minutes? I'm going to prove to you now. You didn't say anything. Mohammed, that's even not two minutes. Mohammed. You don't know how to start. Can someone Mo have time for us, please? Mohammed, Allah, Can you time for us? Allah didn't, couldn't do anything time, by himself. That's why he didn't have some sort of entity for Jibreel, which is not Angel Gabriel, to speak to Muhammad. Yeah, so he needed three. Yeah, you are you never listening? Done from Last speak. Are you listening? Your, your God couldn't even speak to his own prophet. He cannot speak to his creation. Jesus Christ himself came on earth and he went up by himself. Now when you're saying that Jesus Christ couldn't do anything by himself, it's because he's a triune God. But you haven't addressed. Why don't you pray to the Father? Why don't you ask anything in Jesus' name? Because you worship a false God. You don't worship the triune God. You believe in a false Jesus, Siraj. So now she's asking again, why can you not pray to Jesus? If Jesus himself contradiction says, pray to the Father. Who is the Father? God the Father. You pray to the Father. I pray God to the Father. No, the one you, you believe is the Father. You pray to You're not telling me. Allah. No, you just say no, no, no. Jews believe Muslims and them have same God. So let me come to the point. So she why said, you call him no, no, two minutes. You said why timing. Don't you call him no, you said timing. I, I, won't, I won't allow you to speak if it's timing. So my time in two minutes. So now, she said Jesus went to heaven by himself. And I give a verse where it says Jesus was taken to heaven. Was taken. Does that mean he went to heaven by himself? No. So who took him? If Jesus had authority, all authority after the resurrection, and that is, is after the resurrection, he claimed he was given all authority. So who took him to the heaven? Where is the authority? Second one. Matthew chapter 20, verse 21 to 23. A lady came to Jesus and said, Jesus, I want these two of my sons, one of them to sit on the right side and the other one on your left side. Do you know what Jesus said? This is not me to grant, but that is the will. 
That's the Father who grant, can only grant. Who can give that? It's Jesus. Where is the authority? And that, where is, when is going to happen that? In judgment day. So now he's telling me, Jesus said what? Pray in my name. That does not mean Jesus to worship. You know what Jesus said? According to John chapter 4, verse 21 to 20, 23, Jesus said, we worship what we know. He included himself and his disciples that they all worship God the Father. And he said what? The true worshipers will worship God the Father. Did he say the true worshipers will worship God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? No. So according to this verse, anyone who worships Jesus, Jesus or the Holy Spirit is a false worshiper. It's Jesus' own words, not me saying. I, another, I got 30 seconds. So now she said, Jesus, Jesus is below than the angels. Jesus, can God, can God be below than the angels? According to Psalm chapter 8, verse 5, it says Jesus was made lower than the angels. So now tell me, also Paul approved that. He said in the in Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9, he said Jesus was made lower than the angels. So how can someone be God when he was made lower than the angels? How can someone who was made lower than the angels have glory? He had no glory when the, before the world was created. You talk. Time for her. Two minutes, yeah? I'm timing for you. So, Siraj, um, it's very clear that, you know, Jesus Christ came to die and that repentance of this, of, um, repentance will be um, preached in his name to all nations and that's the gospel. And you don't believe in this, you don't, like I said to you, you don't pray to the Father, you don't pray to the, you, you, know, don't, you don't pray in the name of Jesus and um, you don't know who God is, you worship a false God, you don't have an original Quran either, we have the gospel, we have the Bible, you don't have any of these things. Um, so I'm going to carry on reading to you um, because you're misquoting scripture. Um, in here it says that the Father judges no one, but has given all authority to the Son in John 5.22. So Jesus will be judging you, Siraj. It's not going to be Muhammad. It's not going to be Allah. It's very clear that Jesus Christ will judge you according to what the Bible says, not according to the Quran. And that's why the Quran has very limited information about Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never be hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. He said it in John 6, 35. Those words will never pass away. Jesus says, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. This is why the words contained in the Bible about Jesus Christ, they stay with us forever. We have the Bible, we have the accounts from thousands of years ago. The Quran is a corruption of what the Bible said, of what Jesus Christ came for. It has false information about Jesus. Jesus says, the one who feeds on me will live because of me. If a man had keep my word, he will never see death. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth of the life. And he said, no one comes to the Father except through me. So it's clear that you have to go through Jesus Christ and you have to receive the Holy Spirit. Jesus says that whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. That's and whoever me. loses his That's life my for time. my sake will find it. That's my time. No. Let me stop it. And I want you, Siraj, to address this verse specifically because you misquote in scripture. Ah, I see. Okay, now it's my turn. Okay, now, before she was talking about, she was trying to prove the divinity of Jesus, but now she went to another topic by saying the Bible is uh, the words of Jesus and Quran is corrupted. So another topic. Every time I know as normal Christians, some majority of them, they keep changing the topics. So now, she's... The Bible also, the, or, the, or the, um, the credibility of the Bible is unknown. The surnames John, Mark, Luke, Matthew, and I repeat, and I said many times, is not an Hebrew name. John is not an Hebrew name. So we want from Christians the real names of the disciples. Mark, John, Matthew is not an Hebrew name. It's an English name. So what, what, what is their real name? Their background, their surnames, we don't know. But us Muslims, we know when was written the Quran and who wrote it from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He's a student. I can name some of them. The first one, the main one is Zaid bin Thabit. But Christians here, they have different versions of the Bible. So which version did the disciples of Jesus write down? Which one? The Protestant 63 books or 
66 books or a Catholic Bible, 73 books. Which one? We don't know. Now, again, if we come to the versions of the Bible, King James Version, 1 John 5, 7, it's only valid in King James Version. If you go to the other versions, it's not av available. So my question to Christians, why 1 John 5, 7 is removed from other versions, but only is valid in King James Version? That means red flag, a clear red flag. We don't know the authors of the Bible. Even Matthew is one of the false authors of Jesus, disciples of Jesus. Do you know why? Because Matthew, he made a mistake about the genealogy of Jesus. He said what? He said, he was telling us the genealogy of Je Joseph, the stepfather of Jesus, and he said Matthew I've chapter been one. Two minutes. Okay. I unfortunately, yeah. Sivaj wasted a lot of time talking garbage, um, but I have to thank him for that because it makes it easy to debunk him. So you do not have the original Quran. You say, oh, the Quran is preserved. Where is the manuscript? You have two fragrances in Birmingham. Do you know where is the full first manuscript? You don't know who wrote it. We know very well that it was burnt up. But you know what? I don't. I don't care because the Quran is rubbish and you know is um, mind your language. Why? Mind your Why language. Why should I mind my language? Mind when you your call language. Jesus Christ transgender when you make false No, that's the Bible. Jesus. That's no, the Bible. That's you Show me say. in the Quran where it that's says the Quran, the Quran is rubbish. I'm gonna start the time mind your again language. because you mind your language. Otherwise I'm going to use your Bible and attack Jesus. I'm gonna I the false Jesus of the Bible. If you do that, then Jesus Christ, Christ, no, she did that. She did that. We were discussing normally. She said the Quran is rubbish. The Bible is rubbish? No, but so, you're so, no, you're so now it's time for respecting this discussion. No misbehaving. I mean, we, we could miss you're going to start yeah. again. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Unfortunately, I call Islam garbage because it will take you to hell. And Jesus Christ said to love the sinner. That's why, despite of everything, I love you, Siraj. And I love all these people. You call but Quran rubbish, you hate, love me? But I have to hate Islam because Islam will take you and other people to hell. And that's why I have to hate it. However, you don't have any evidence, as I said before, for the Quran. This is a false claim. Just because people are remembering parroting in Arabic and they don't even know what it means, it doesn't mean anything. It's very clear when I, what I read to you that Jesus Christ is God. And it's very clear that he came to die and he resurrected. And all historical accounts prove that. And then it, Muhammad comes along and he lies about Jesus Christ. Um, and I'm going to read to you. Um, what it says. First of all, there was a prophecy. How much was the time? There was a prophecy, um, you know, that Jesus would be born. You don't have, for example, you as Muslims don't have the prophet Isaiah because Muhammad forgot about it, but Isaiah prophesied that Jesus Christ would be born. And in fact, when the birth of Jesus was announced, it said Mary was told by um, the angel Gabriel, not Gabriel, Gabriel, behold, you will conceive your in your womb and bring forth a son and she's called his name Jesus. He will be great and he will be called the son of the highest and he will be um, um, and the Lord will give him the throne of his father David and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever and of, the, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Jesus Christ is the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords and he sits at the right hand of the father and he's coming back for the Muslim people. As many of the preachers in here says, Muhammad is not coming back. Allah is not coming back. Jesus is coming back and he will judge you. And he will judge you according to his written on this book. You have maybe 25 verses in the Quran about Jesus Christ. Four minutes, four minutes. Two minutes. That's fine, you can, okay. you can respond. So now again, she always repeats about Jesus, whether Jesus is going to judge others or not. Same Bible, it says Jesus will not judge, but God will judge. Contradiction. Again, also the Bible says Christians will judge the angels. You're Wait, just making a no, claim. two minutes. I can give you the verses. Give me the verses. I can give you the verses. Uh, but you're not, I'm sorry, you're not counting the time. That there is no point if you're not doing Stop the time. Me. There is no point because it's not fair to <coughs> the time carries on if you have to look for the verse as well. I've done this already. <coughs> <coughs> here, it says here, 
the angels will the Christians will judge the angels number one the 12 disciples of Jesus will judge the 12 nations of his 12 tribes of Israel the gospel of Luke chapter 22 verse 30 can you go for me go for me please so if someone makes God just because of judging others, according to Christian's logic, Christians are God, the disciples of Jesus are God, and Jesus is God. And another verse it says God only will judge, not Jesus, not Christians, not the disciples. So how many judges do we have in the Bible? Many. So that does not make Jesus what? God. Also Jesus said what? John, the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 30. Well, let me finish. The Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 30. It says what? My, myself, I can do nothing. And I judge only as I hear. And my judgment is to please who? God. Can God need to please others? Jesus needs to please God. He said, my judgment is not my own. But my judgment is to please God. So Jesus is not God. In Islam, Prophet Muhammad Allah told him what? To judge what? Mankind. He was told, David also in the Quran, he was told to judge. If I give you one verse example, Quran chapter 5, verse 48 and 49. We've got five seconds. Left. Jesus, Prophet Muhammad was asked to judge people where? What? By what? According to the teaching, according to Quran, and to please Allah. All prophets judged and they were there to please Allah. God. It's, it's not Jesus. Now. It's finished now. Unfortunately, I'm going to end this here anyway, Siraj, because, um, I sh you know, um, it's a waste of time, but there are people listening. So I'm going to say to you um, that um, Jesus Christ had the power to forgive sins. He is the only one that can like forgive your sins. Jesus Christ said it himself that, you know, the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. And he said to the man who was paralyzed, I said to you, arise, take up your bed and go to your house. No other person could raise people from the dead as Jesus did. No one could give eternal life and no one can forgive sins. That's why Jesus Christ said all judgment is given to him. And I'm going to end this here, one second. Jesus Christ, when he was resurrected, he said very clearly that these are the words which I spoke to you whilst I was still with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. So it's very clear, Jesus said himself, that all the Old Testament scriptures were written about him. Not about Allah, not about any other deity, not just about the Father, it's about himself, Jesus Christ. And he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scripture. And he said to them, Thus it is written, and that it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that the repentance and remission of his sins should be preached in his name to all nations, beginning of Jerusalem. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the temple praising and blessing God. So it's very clear. Um, go, 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Um, it's very clear that Jesus Christ is the one that forgives sins. Jesus Christ is a judge. Jesus Christ said that anything you ask in my name will be done, and he will be with you in prayer as well. And also, to conclude this, Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God that takes away the yeah, sins of the world. That's my and he baptizes you with the Holy Spirit. And Can it's not about water baptism, my it's time. about being born again. You my need time. to be born again. Okay, so now I'll talk about two things and I'm going to conclude. So I'm going to conclude with two things here. She said Jesus can forgive sins. That's a lie. Waffle. Do you know why? The Gospel of Matthew, chapter, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, verse 34. Jesus asked God to forgive the sins of Roman soldiers and Jews, the, one, the people who they claimed, they, uh, claimed Jesus was crucified by them. So if Jesus could forgive sins, why would he ask God the Father to forgive the sins of Jews and Roman soldiers? According to Luke chapter 23, verse 34. And again, Jesus said, if you forgive others, the heavenly Father will forgive your sins. Why not Jesus? According to the Gospel of Matthew chapter 6, verse 14. That's what Jesus said. If Jesus could forgive sins, why he wouldn't forgive others? 
Why would you say the heavenly father will forgive your sins? And he said, Jesus died for your sins. <coughs> Jesus never died for Christians. There's no single verse. Jesus said, I have come to die for your sins. There's nowhere in the Bible. Jesus said, I have not come to destroy the law of Old Testament, prophet Moses and as are all prophets. He said in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. <coughs> and what he says, Old Testament, according to Psalm chapter 49, verse 7, according to Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 30, according to Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 18, all it says, no one can die for others. And Jesus said, what? Well, I have not come to abo abolish the law of Moses. So, so, so you keep all these things in your mind. So now what I'm saying is even in judgment day, when Jesus comes in judgment day, he will ignore Christians because of their evil sins, evil deeds. If Jesus died for their sins, why would he ignore them in judgment day? According to the gospel of Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23. So it doesn't add up. Christians are forcing Jesus to be God. Jesus always says what? <coughs> I'm going to my God and your God. We worship what we know. The true worshipers will worship God the Father. Not the true worshipers will worship the Son, the Holy Spirit, and God the Father. <coughs> and he didn't say that. Christians, they said Jesus started his ministry at the age of 30. If he started his ministry at the age of 30, Jesus, according to Christians, they said he knew the Old Testament. If he knew the Old Testament, and the Old Testament was talking about him, before he started the, uh, his ministry at the age of 30, why didn't he claim divinity? Why he didn't say, I'm God at the age of five, at the age of one, at the age of three? Do you know why? Because Paul himself said what? According to Philippians chapter 1, verse 18, he found some people lying about Jesus, and he said, what does it matter? The most important thing is whether from false motives or true motives, Christ must be preached. So it's all about lying. And I'm asking Christians every time, there's no eyewitness, anyone who saw the disciples of Jesus. Matthew is not one of the disciples of Jesus, he's unknown. Because he doesn't even know the genealogy of Jesus. As, as he, he said in Mark, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 16, he was telling us the genealogy of Joseph, the safe father, instead of telling us the genealogy of Jesus. Because the safe father of Joseph has got nothing to do with the genealogy of Jesus. So Matthew is unknown, Luke is unknown, no one, know, no, one know, no one knows them. Any eyewitness, who saw them when they were writing down the, the four Gospels? Who did they give it to when they, were, they wrote down the four Gospels? It's all about movie. It's just making up things. And okay, let's say the disciples wrote the four Gospels. They got different versions. Which version did the disciple write down? Which one? The Catholic one or the Protestant one? Which one? We don't know. Each sect of them says, no, the disciples wrote the Catholic, Catholic Bible. The other one, Protestant, they say Jesus wrote the uh, in Protestant Bible. Orthodox, they say, no, the disciples wrote the Orthodox Bible. Which one? And they say in, all of them were inspired by who? God. And they were guided by the Holy Spirit. How can the Holy Spirit misguide them all of them when they have different opinions about Jesus. Some they say Jesus is the Son of God. Some say Jesus is God. Jesus is God, the Father, the Son. And some say God, the Father, Jesus, and the, the Holy Spirit, all these three are different persons. So which one did the Holy Spirit guide? Prophet ﷺ told us Muslims will be divided into 73 sects. And he said one of them will go to heaven. Which one? Prophet told us. The ones who follow the methodology of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and his companions. But Christians, which sects will go to heaven? If the Holy Spirit guided all of them, why they have different opinions? Why did they practice different and and why they practice different things about Jesus? Why they have different versions of the Bible? Which one was inspired? And I repeat again, even the Bible, there are so many books are missing. This is my last conclusion. Like, say, example, the book of the wars of the Lord is missing in the Bible. According to Numbers chapter 21, verse 14, is missing that book. The act of Solomon is missing according to 
and Joshua chapter and now according to 1 1 Kings 41 41 to 11 41 verse 11 the book of uh, the book of uh, and it's called what is called the book of uh, the book of Nathan the prophet is missing the, the book of God the book of Samuel the sea all are missing according to Corinthians chapter 2 verse 29 chapter uh, verse and uh, chapter 29 verse 29 and the book of she 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 Shemaiah is missing the, and according to 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 15 again the book of Joe is missing from the Bible and it's the verse is and the, the reference is 1 Corinthians chapter 20 verse 34 where are all those books even the Bible now the New Testament many books are missing where are they why they have many they miss let's say now the gospel of Matthew chapter 21 some verses are missing from other versions only is valid in King James version where are they all of them which one God inspired no what there's nowhere God inspired Paul himself lied and he said I have no command from God but I speak from my own opinion according to 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 12 7 again 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 6, 7 6 according to 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 25 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 17 Paul said I speak as a fool I have no command from God and he said he lied to Christ to the Christians by saying all the verses is inspired by God that's a lie if it's inspired by God how can Paul opinion be inspired by God Luke also said what the gospel of Luke chapter 1 verse 3 the good Luke said after I, I investigated everything I decided to write an account for you he decided not what inspired by God so